Hi and welcome to another Type with me. In today's video I want to talk about NextGen Web Framework. So if you go to the Fresh website you see here that you get nice animation which is cool but it also says the NextGen Web Framework built for speed, reliability and simplicity. It's a web framework built upon or for Dino. So we will try it out, we'll see what we can do with it. It has JSX into it. I'm very excited to try it out. So let's dive into that. So to start with Fresh we need to run the following command. So I do that. You see here that we can upgrade already Dino because we are having an older application. We can choose a project name. So I choose type with me. Fresh has built-in support for styling using teal and CSS. Do you want to use this? Um, yeah, well, I'm gonna say no, because for me it's important. Do you use uh, Visual Studio Code? Yes, I do. All right, so now we have um, our project, right? And I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to say CD type with me to navigate through to that, um, that project. And I can do Dino run task and then I think I can see the task right here I guess yeah the new task start so now it runs the application if we go to localhost 8000 we will see how it looks like of course what you see here is it has components for example here it has a button component which is great right which uh, is normal gsx and of course we have some routes right here you have an index where you have a counter and counter actually is an Iceland component. I've no idea what it is, but it's using pre preact uh, slash signals, which is a very common thing within front end land. And of course, it has just a GSX uh, component, which does something like this uh, props.count.value minus one or plus one and of course we have your name.tsx and we can just very easily change the name and it says hello and then we get props.params.name where we get the name out of our url right we have some apis here and here we have an api to get a joke apparently it has a handler random index and of course some jokes where we can say return new response with a body welcome to fresh try update this message in the route slash index .dsx file and refresh it apparently i just want to do plus and minus for our counter but it can't do that which is very strange i'm gonna do something like hello and you get hello hello of course you can do something like um, my name I'm gonna put my name and here you get hello yours so if we go now to index.tsx we can sometimes something we can change something right welcome to fresh and what we could do here is say hello to the index page of type with me very easy to change this 
says hey file change detected restarting so it restarts the page if you then go to the page you see your hello to the index page of type with me so it's very easy to create a fresh application with knowledge of react like you see it uses preact right so if you see here it has preact preact it has preact render to string it has preact signals preact signals dash core it has also um, a reference to the standard um, apis of dino and it has also a reference to fresh right which is great because we now very easily could use that within our imports it's something that i already said in one of the previous videos that i recorded so i hope you learn a little bit about it but for me it's 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 easy and it's intuitive one of the things that i'm find very curious and i really don't know what it is is the um the islands so i'm gonna read a little bit about it and i'm gonna try to explain to you what it is all right so if i can read it right islands enable client side interactivity in fresh and so by default all the components are preact components and they are rendered uh, um, on the server so you have components they are standard be rendered on the server if you want to use some kind of um, components on the client you need to put them in islands folder so islands are defined by creating a folder in the islands folder uh, a file in the islands folder in a fresh project and the name of this file must be a pascal case or a kebab case name of the islands the file must have default export that is regularly a preact component so it's just great because you can then very easily build up your component you can have nested or child components as well so a great concept to know about if you want to dive a little bit deeper into fresh so for me fresh is a really great framework if you know um, react or preact then i think it's great to look into to play around with it's very easy it's intuitive um, if you know next.js for example uh, you see a lot of similarities on that right you have some kind of thing like routes api and then jokes for this the joke just uh, is something that you can very easily uh, create your rest apis with you have a handler and then it gives you a response so if i do something like api slash joke it will return me a joke let's take a look into that and then you see that you can also very easily have a json response right so if you go to api slash joke you just get text right let's transform it a little bit into json i think if i just change it towards a um thing like this a json object i think it will accept it and then we have just json that's been returned or at least i thought it would be but it says argument of text string is not uh, assignable to the parameter body in it it's missing the following properties from type blob so it's really a blob but what you then could do is something like this json.stringify of course and i'm very curious if we could go for something like that this fetch api interface represents the response to a request so yeah well let's try this out so if you now go to the page api slash joke you see your text and then wasn't hard to crack first gump password zero four zero <laughs> so great we have a joke we then 
refresh the page see here why do java developers often wear glasses they can't see sharp <laughs> they can't see sharp <laughs> right do you got it <laughs> well it's indeed a little bit funny all right so great we saw how we could handle our apis how we could return something how we could use json here how we could change our index.tsx files a little bit how we could use uh, components which are only client side components or how we could use components which are server side components right one of the things that I could recommend is just play around with Fresh and see how far you can get. I think it's a great uh, framework, like I said before. Uh, just try it out, play around with it, and hopefully it's something you would further use. Please leave me a comment in the comment section of this video. If you like this video, what you think of Fresh, if you are going to use Fresh or not, what the reason why you should use Fresh and what's the reason why you should not use Fresh. I thank you very much and I see you next time.